till I be sure that this is love beyond compare. If We're I, oh, live. We're live. Oh, hey, Tony Stewart, also known as Blessed Brother here. Angie Stewart, Blessed Sister. Great to see you. And um, today we're going to be finishing up our 10 minutes or less series that we got from Success Magazine. Mm -hmm. And this last category of 10 minutes or less, well, what's the topic? 10 way, oh, sorry, actually it's five ways to improve your career in 10 minutes or less. In 10 minutes or less. And your career is obviously whatever you do for a living. It could be your home-based business. It could be a job you have. But we'll, I think you'll find these five things are things that you can do to enhance your livelihood. Mm -hmm. So number one. Number one is use the 60-10 rule. The 60-10 rule. This is a rule where you work 60 minutes. Yes. Put your heart and soul working, 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 and well, then take a 10-minute break. Then take a 10-minute break. Mm -hmm. You know, even with these uh, I wa Apple Watches and everything, they have actually a, a indicator that goes off when you've sat too long. There's a lot of studies that are being that are coming out now about the dangers, not just preferences, but the dangers of not of sitting too long and not getting up and taking a break. Plus, again, it helps you get your mind in the right place to be able to make those 60 minutes the best they can be by taking those 10 minutes at the end of each 60 to take that break. So I think that's a really good rule. You just need to take care of your mind too. It needs the care. It needs time to just be, or it could cause yeah. some negative consequences. So take care of your mind. There it is. Number, Number two. two, stick to your goals. Stick to your goals. One of my mentors, uh, a guy by the name of Grant Cardone, he talks about that you should not only write your goals down once a year or once a month or once a day. He actually says you should write down your goals twice a day once at the beginning of the day and then once at the end of the day. And the reason why is because it brings you back. It brings that focus back to what your goals are. So when, before you sit down, you know, Jim Rohn used to always say, before you start your day, look, you can't start your day until you finish it. And the first time I heard him say that, I was like, what does that even mean? But what he meant was, you don't start your day until you finish it on paper. And at the end of the day, you look at what your goals are, what you move uh what kind of movement you made towards those mm -hmm. and you do that pro you know and you plan your next day you look at what you could have done differently you celebrate the successes you've had that day and you look forward to the, the next day you have anything to say about that one no it's well yes it's so important to plan things out yeah. i mean like tony was saying you plan it before you even start you begin with the end in mind as stephen covey talks about yeah. So just keep that in mind to plan your day, and keep your goals plan in front your of you. life, what you want out in front of you. Keep it out in front of you, but make sure you planned it. There it is. Number three. Write a letter to your future self. Now, you know, it's interesting. I've done this a few different times. I've been to certain seminars where in the excitement of the seminar, I wrote a letter to my future self. And in some cases, they actually delayed the mailing of it. Mm -hmm. So I would get it three or six months later. And I'll tell you, it was impactful. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, you don't need to do that. But what you could do is write a letter to yourself and date it. Do not open until six months from now. Mm -hmm. And just tell yourself about your intentions, what's on your mind. Be specific. Be specific, yes. What do you want to have what are you excited about? at that time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, a good time to do it is when you've had a success. But it's also a good time to do it when you've had a, made a mistake. And I say, put it in there, get it off your psyche, put it in there, and look at it six months later and see if that mistake still matters. You'd be amazed how often the thing that you thought was the end of the world, ooh, all, you know, end all, be all, six months later, it's a blip. It's something that you learn from. So write a letter to your future self. Next, number four. Okay. It's a really good one. All right. No. What? Say no. To who? Well, to whatever is taking up your time, distracting you. Oh, okay. You have the opportunity to manage your time. You can say no to yeah. your 
business buddies, your coworkers, your boss even sometimes. Yep. You might be stretching it in certain cases, but you have your time. Manage it. That's sometimes right. you just have to say no. You might have too many irons in the fire. You might be juggling too many balls. So you need to take a break and just say no. No, yeah. I cannot do that at this time. Maybe I can do it later, but right now, no. You know, just as we're called to be good stewards of our money, we're called to be good stewards of our time. And what that means sometimes is sometimes you have to say no. Mm -hmm. And say, you know, you have to be disagreeable. You have to say no. You have to be like the Hulk in the Infinity War. No. You have to do all that. But you can just say no. And if you want to explain, you can do it. There's a way you can do it with, you know, with politeness. Mm -hmm. You know, even to a boss, you can say, hey, listen, the reason I cannot do this is because of this, this, and this, and you build a case for why you're not going to take that step, and you'll be respected for your thought process to say, no, this does not make sense for me to do right now. The article talks about if it's not making you smarter, better, or happier, say no. Say no. Time is short. Mm -hmm. Ain't time for stuff that's not going to make you smarter, happier, or better. That's right. There it is. Next. Wow, we've come to the final one. The final one. I feel like I need a drum roll. Hey, that's my department. Okay, give it to me. All right. Remember what you want. Remember what you want. Now, in this case, you may be so extremely busy that you've forgotten what you want or what you said you want. Mm -hmm. So this is your opportunity to take 10 minutes of time, step away from everything. Yeah. Turn out the lights even. Just quiet yourself down. Quiet your mind. Get yourself into a place where you're completely quiet. And then ask yourself, what do you want? That's awesome. And then ask yourself again, what do you want? And maybe a third, fourth, fifth time. Just keep asking yourself. And then rest. Take time. Listen. See what arises. That's awesome. To give you what you want. To give you what you want. Mm -hmm. And that's great because tomorrow I'm going to be sharing a technique that I just learned about this week. And it's something that will help you determine what your why is. And it's so intense that I probably won't even be able to share it uh, or walk through it on here other than give you instructions. And you'll mm -hmm. see what I mean. This exercise will get to the core of your why. Mm -hmm. And it's something I never heard of before this week. And I'm excited to share it with you tomorrow. So before I forget, yes. Who's the sponsor of this year, Facebook Live <laughs> or this video that you're these that well, this person is seeing right now? Being that we're on the Blessed Brother page broadcasting this. On richbrothertv.com. And richbrothertv.com. Yes. I would say blessedbrother.com is the sponsor of this show here. That's right. So go to blessedbrother.com, find out how people are quietly making fortunes in the evening hours. And Actually around the clock. Well, they're enhancing their career for a future state of being That's that right. they are planning yes. to achieve. There it is. So blessedbrother.com check us out there and uh like i said i'll be back tomorrow and uh i'm i'm excited about sharing this with you tomorrow for sure so blessedbrother.com check it out be blessed